we're going to do a movement activity and the song is called put the beat in your feet. So what does that mean? If you put the beat in your feet, what are you going to do? You're going to walk to the beat. Okay. So when the song comes on, it's going to say, put the beat in your feet and you walk and you stop. So it's gonna tell you what to do, but be sure you keep that beat going. It's the feel of the song. Okay, so put the beat in your feet and you walk and you stop. So you're gonna walk to that beat and then freeze whenever it says stop, freeze, one, two, three. Then it's gonna sing it again. Put the beat in your feet and you walk and you stop. And you're gonna walk around. You don't have to stay in one place. You can walk around. And then it's going to tell you to do other things to the beat. The whole point is that everything you do is to the beat. So you're not doing it at your own speed. You're doing it at the beat of the song, the tempo of the song. You put the beat in your feet when you walk and you stop. Freeze, one, two, three. You put the beat in your feet when you walk and you stop. Freeze, one, two, three. You put the beat in your feet when you walk and you walk. game out of it you can and you can do it with multiple people and if they don't do what it says to do in the song they don't freeze they don't keep the beat then they're out of the game okay but first you want to practice so you can feel that beat and do everything that they're saying in the song okay so have fun with it that is put the beat in your feet you put the beat in your feet when you walk and you stop Freeze, one, two, three. You put the beat in your feet when you walk and you stop. Freeze, one, two, three. You put the beat in your feet when you walk and you walk and you walk and walk and walk and stop. And then you clap your hands, turn around and then touch the ground. Feel the rhythm and clap your hands. Then you do a little hop. We're going to do a new song today, and it is in Spanish. So it's a cultural song, and it's neat um, speaking a different language and music. So um, I'm going to sing it for you. It is called Pajarito, and then I will break it down. We'll talk about what each word means and how to say it in Spanish, and then we'll practice through it. All right, and then there's a game at the end that you can add to the song. So Pajarito, this is how it goes. Pajarito tan bonito, pajarito, donde vas? A la cera, vera, vera, pin, pon, fuera. So the singing part is actually really simple. It just goes up and down. Can you do that with me? Just, just with any syllable. Ready? Go. See, it's just up and down. Can you say pajarito? Pajarito. All right, that means little bird. So this song does not all make sense. It's just a little fun song. Um, it is from Latin America. And um, so it doesn't all make sense. It's kind of like... Um, in English, whenever we're trying to pick something, we have um, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tag or bite. 
catch a tiger by the tail. If he holler, if we have those, it doesn't really make sense. It's just fun to do. Okay. So this song is the same. So it's, it's Pajarito, Little Birdie. And then it goes, Tan Bonito. Can you say Tan, Tan, Tan Bonito? Bonito. That is pretty. So Pajarito is little bird, is bonito, pretty, tan bonito. So we're saying pretty little bird if you put that together. So repeat after me, pajarito, tan bonito. Then we're putting it together. So the singing goes like this, pajarito, tan bonito. Do that with me. Ready and go. Pajarito tan bonito. Ready and go. Pajarito tan bonito. All right. So that is the first part. And then the second part starts with pajarito again. So little birdie. And then donde vas? That means where are you going? So it says little birdie. Where are you going? So you put that together in Spanish. Pajarito, donde vas? Say pajarito, pajarito, donde vas? Donde vas? Say that, donde vas? Pajarito, donde vas? Say that with me. Pajarito, donde vas? And what does that mean? Little birdie, where are you going? Okay, so let's do those first two parts. Say, say it with me. Pajarito tan bonito. Pajarito donde vas? Let's do it again. Ready? Go. Pajarito tan bonito. Pa Pajarito, donde vas? Donde vas? Okay, now we're going to sing it up and down. At the end, you're going to go, donde vas? Do that with me. Donde vas? Ready? From the beginning. Pajarito, ready? Go. Pajarito, tan bonito. Pajarito, donde vas? Let's do it again. Ready? And go. Pajarito tan bonito, pajarito, donde vas? Let's do it one more time. Do your best. If you mess up, it's okay. Sometimes you just got to repeat it, repeat it, repeat it till you get it. Ready and go. Pajarito tan bonito, pajarito, donde vas? Now let's speed it up just a little bit. Ready, set, go. Pajarito tan bonito, pajarito, donde vas? Do it one more time. Ready and go. Pajarito tan bonito, pajarito, donde vas? Good. All right. Now the second half of the song, it is, it sounds like this. A la cera, vera, vera, pin, pon, fuera. In English, that is similar to eeny, meeny, miny, mo, you are out. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, you are out. So, a la cera, vera, vera, pin, pon, fuera. So, let's break it down. The first part, the eeny, meeny, miny, mo. In Spanish, it's a la, do that, a la. Sera, sera. Be sure you're repeating after me. A la sera, a la sera. Good. And then veda. No, 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 that's wrong. Veda, veda, veda. Vera, 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 vera. 
Do that fast. Vera, vera. Vera, vera. So put the a la sera before it. A la sera, vera, vera. A la sera, vera, vera. Do it with me. A la sera, vera, vera. A la sera, vera, vera. A la sera, vera, vera. See, it's easier when you go faster, actually. Shockingly, actually. Okay, so let's do the last three words. The you are out in Spanish. Pin, pon, fuera. Pin, pon, fuera. So say pin, pin, pon, kind of like ping pong, ping pong, but without the G. Pin, pon, fuera. Fuera. Fuera is out. Pin, pon, fuera. Say that with me. Pin, pon, fuera. Okay? So if you put that all together, that part, it goes a la sera, vera, vera, pin, pon, fuera. A la sera, vera, vera, pin, pon, fuera. Okay, now we're going to add our vocals. Okay, high, low. At the, the last word, which is fuera, you're going to go down low. So it goes, a la sera, vera, vera, pin, pon, fuera. Do that with me. A la sera, vera, vera, pin, pon, fuera. And that's so, so, do, do. So it goes, so, so, mi, mi, so, so, mi, mi, so, so, do, do. All right, so it's. A la sera, vera, vera, pin, pon, fuera. You got it? Okay, now we have to put the beginning part with the second part. That's the hard part, okay? So, pajarito, tan bonito, pajarito, donde vas? A la sera, vera, vera, pin, pon, fuera. Can you say it with me? We'll do it slow. Ready? The whole thing. Ready? Go. Pajarito tan bonito. Pajarito donde vas? A la sera, vera, vera, pin, pon, fuera. You got it? Now we're going to add the highs and lows. Ready? Go. Pajarito tan bonito. Pajarito, donde vas? A la cera, vera, vera, pin, pon, fuera. Okay. Um, oddly enough, the faster you go with this song, not, not really fast, but the medium speed, if you go faster, it's a lot easier because it just flows. Okay. So let's try it a little bit faster. Do your best. Ready, set, go. Pajarito tan bonito, pajarito, donde vas? A la cera, vera, vera, pin, pon, fuera. You got it? All right. Do it on your own a couple times. You can pause here. Do it on your own just to practice to make sure you got it. Because for the game, you need to know how to sing the song. Okay? And also, you need to be able to sing it quicker. Okay, because it starts slow, and then as you progress through the game, it gets faster and faster and faster. Okay, so let's try it again. Ready, go. Pajarito tan bonito, pajarito, donde vas? A la cera, vera, vera, pin, pon, fuera. So for the game, um, the way it works is you have to do it with more than one person. Okay. Um, the more people you can get to do it, the more fun it is. So it's a group game. So one person is it at a time. That person, that we call them the pointer. They're the pointer. They, the pointer closes their eyes. And really close your eyes. Don't peek. There's no fun when, when you peek. It ruins it. So you close your eyes and you point. And everybody else who's playing is in front of you. Okay? And like a little bit at a distance. Not right in front of you but they're in front of you. And as we sing the song, the pointer with their eyes closed is gonna point around randomly, eyes closed, 
So, pajarito tan bonito, pajarito, ¿dónde vas? A la cera, vera, vera, pin, pon, fuera. And then you op the pointer opens their eyes and whoever they're pointing at is the next person that's it, okay? And so if you're not pointing at anybody, then you do it again until you point to somebody. But whoever is in front of you, as you're, as you're all singing this song, they're moving around, okay? Trying to avoid your pointer finger. And on fuera, pin, pon, fuera, everybody that's moving has to freeze. So it's pin, pon, Fuera, you have to freeze where you are. So you can't dodge where the finger is. You have to freeze. If the pointer is pointing at you, then you're out. And you take the place of the pointer, okay? Um, you can either do it where once, like in class, if someone gets pointed at, they're it, but then after they're it, they're out. And they become judges and make sure everybody is doing what they're supposed to do and being safe and expected. Okay, so you can either do it that way where once you're out, of the game, you're fully out. Once you're it, you're out. Or you, once you've gone and you point at someone and you get somebody, then you go back in the game and they try to do it to you. So if you don't have many people, that's what you would do. Okay. But you want to sing and then you start slow. So, pajarito tan bonito, pajarito donde vas a la cera, vera, vera, pin, pon, fuera. Okay. Um, then as you go through it, you get faster and faster. So, pajarito tan bonito, pajarito, donde vas a la cera, vera, vera, pin, pon, fuera. Um, you get faster because they have to, they don't have as much time to get around and away from your finger. Okay. But you can't go behind the pointer. You have to be within their pointing area, their area of pointing. Okay. So, have fun with it. That is pajarito. <music>that says instrument bingo and also in the in, uh, assignment instructions. So once you click to it, it should open this page. If it opens another page, just find the find the bingo chart on that page. I like scroll down and you'll, it, you'll see it and it'll bring you to this page. So our goal for instrument bingo is to be able to listen and hear an instrument playing and be able to identify what instrument it is. So first, what I want you to do is to go through and listen to all the instruments. There's a lot on here. And there's some that you'll probably know right away. And there's some that you'll be like, oh, that's new. Okay, so first, let's start with my chart. My first chart is on the left with clarinet. Yours may be in a different order and maybe the same. So let's listen to the clarinet first. <laughs> That's the clarinet. Now we'll go to the next one. It says snare drum and it has a picture of a drum. It's like a, a marching drum. So that is a snare drum. And you see the picture of it right here? That's a snare drum. A clarinet is a long black instrument so that you play in front, okay? And uh, now we're going to hear a low instrument. This is a really long, it's called a bass clarinet. Anything that has bass in its name is going to sound really low. So let's listen. Very low. Then we have our trombone. It's the only instrument that has the slide on it, and it can go up and down. That is the trombone. And do you hear how it gets? That is the trombone. And then we have timpani, which is a bunch of drums together. <laughs> 
Those are timpani. All right, second row, we have the violin. Remember how to play a violin? You have a bow that slides across the strings and it's high, a violin is high. See, you notice how high it went? That is a violin. This next one is called a bass and it looks like a giant violin. And remember, anything with bass in the title is a low sounding instrument. All right, so we have bass. Let's listen to this bass. See how low it went? Now we have a bassoon, and it also has bass in the word, but it looks different. A bassoon is a low instrument, but it can go me it can go mid range as well, but it's very long. Here we go low. Do you remember in um, the Peter and the Wolf story we we talked about last semester before Christmas? The bassoon was the grandfather. Remember. So now we have the cello, which is a pretty big violin. The bigger an instrument is, the lower it's going to sound. So let's listen to the cello. See, it's not as low as the bass was, but it's not as high as the violin. So it's in the middle. All right, then we have a xylophone. Remember xylophones? You play, you hit with mallets. Xylophone. All right, let's go to row three. We have cymbals. Remember you crash them together? Cymbals. And cymbals, and they last for a long time unless you touch them and then they stop vibrating. A celeste is like a piano. It's like a really high um, electric sounding piano. That's a celeste. This thing in the middle, that is your freebie. So when you're playing bingo, your goal is to get five in a row, either left to right, right to left, sideways, going up and down, or going diagonally. So you would use, it's like an X in the middle. Um, so that's a freebie. So you automatically get that one right, that box right. Okay, let's move on. Contra bassoon. That is an even bigger and longer bassoon. So it's like this one, the one that the grandfather was, but it's going to be even lower. So let's listen to how low it gets. Can you believe how low it got? That's crazy. That is a contra bassoon. And it looks like this and then it wraps around because it's so long. Okay, this next one is, it looks just like a trumpet except it's a mini trumpet. It's called a piccolo trumpet. It's a mini trumpet and it goes really high. So it's like a regular trumpet sound, but higher. So let's listen. That is a piccolo trumpet. Right below it, we have the regular trumpet. Let's listen to how it sounds. That is a regular trumpet. So the piccolo trumpet sounds a little bit higher. All right, then we have, well, we can go from the trumpet over. So next to the trumpet, we have the harp. So the harp has a bunch of strings on it that you pluck. Let's listen to it. That's the harp. Next to that is the horn. It's actually called the French horn. And do you see how it has a circle? It goes in a circle. It has tubing that's wrapped around around. So the tubing is actually really long. So it can get really high and it can get really low. Let's listen. 
There we go. And the French horn has a very pure sound. It just rings. It's really pretty. It's my favorite instrument to listen to whenever played well. <laughs> the next one, this is a big drum. It's called a bass drum. Remember, bass is low, so it's got a low sound to it. So let's listen to it. You can hear how it's got that low boom, 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 boom. That's the bass drum. Then we have our biggest brass instrument, and it's called the tuba. And it's really low because it's so big, the tuba. All right, do you recognize that song? All right, so that is the tuba, and it goes really low. Our last row, we have an oboe, and an oboe looks a lot like the one next to it, which is called an English horn, but listen to how they sound different. This is an oboe. And this is the English horn right next to it. Listen. So it has a different tone to it. Let's go back to the oboe. Listen. In the Peter and the Wolf story, the, the uh, oboe was the duck, if you remember that. Um, the English horn is lower also than the oboe. So the, the oboe is high. It's just long black. It looks a lot like a clarinet, which is the first one we listened to, except um, the oboe is a little smaller, and the top has just a reed sticking out, which is what you put in your mouth and blow in to play it. So the next one we're on is flute. You may have heard this one before. This is the instrument that I play. Did you recognize that? That is the flute. It's very high. It sounds kind of like a bird. Then we have a gong. Gong is what you hit and it goes. Whoa. So let's listen. It's really, it's, I can't even make the noise. That was a horrible example. <laughs> but um, Let's listen to the gong. It just goes on forever and ever and ever. So it lasts a really long time. And then last, we have a viola, which sounds a lot like a violin, except it's not as high. So let's listen to it. So if you think about all the string instruments, they all look similar. But you think about the size, the violin is the highest. And then a little bit bigger than the violin is the viola, which is what we just listened to, the viola. So it goes violin, viola, then cello is a little bit lower. It is right here. And then bass. So it goes violin, viola, cello, and bass. Bass is the lowest of the string instruments. And of course you have harp as a string instrument too. But now that we've listened to them, now we can go through and play the game. So you just click play and then this will pop up. It's asking for what level you wanna do. Let's start with beginner, okay? The, the difference between beginner, intermediate and advanced, beginner has a picture and plays the instrument sound for you. So if you don't, if you can't tell what sound you're hearing, then you can look at the picture and find the find that in the table. Okay, intermediate and advanced, they do not have a picture. Um, they just have the sound playing, and you have to pick the instrument. All right, so let's do beginner. <laughs> That's really low. It is the tuba. So let's find the tuba down here. Tuba, there we go. Cello. It's a string instrument that you sit down to play. 
cello is right here. The trumpet, where is the trumpet? Right here. So we're trying to get five in a row. The low one, the contrabassoon. Contrabassoon is right here. That is the bass. Where's the bass? Is it right here? Bass. Now that is a viola. It looks a lot like a violin. So let's say, for example, you think that you're clicking the right one over here and you click it. This is the noise it makes if you get it wrong. Okay? So, but we know it's viola. So we'll go down here to the viola. <laughs> You're a low, that's a bass instrument, bass clarinet. Bass clarinet is a giant clarinet. It's really long, right here. The harp, it's right here. Let's see what's next. Timpani, it's a bunch of different drums together. They're, they're high and lows. Symbols, right? So let's go over here to symbols. That was the snare drum. That's the marching drum. Right here, snare drum. We're getting close. All right, clarinet, I think we may have one after I cho choose the clarinet because it's right here and we got a diagonal full. And this spot in the middle, that's your freebie. So you automatically get that square correct. So we have one, two, three, four, five diagonal. Ready? Let's see if we won. We did. So that's what it would look like. When you won, it says, you won. Great job. Would you like to play again? And you can either say no thanks or play again. You can do another round. It won't play the same instruments in the same order, though. It'll be a little different. If you want, you can do another level. If you thought that was really easy and you're like, I could do that any day, then go on to intermediate and try doing it by just listening to the sounds of the instruments. Okay and see if you can win that way. If the, if you just wanna do the beginner level, that is perfectly fine. Um, but for your student response, if you choose to submit the instrument bingo page, you just take a little screenshot or picture of your screen that says, you won, great job. Would you like to play again? Because I need to see the you won part right here, okay? Um, and then that's all you submit to me to show me that you played the game, all right? so. That is instrument bingo, and I want you to get to the point where you can hear an instrument and just know what it is based off hearing it. You don't even have to see it. That takes a lot of skill, so just practice, 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 okay? But good job.